Man, I should really put more effort into my videos. All I've done recently is just meme trash. Yeah. <sighs> it's, it's just it's hard to make, come up with new ideas, new original stuff. Yeah. Man, that speed drawing was fun. Wait a second. I've got an idea. Uh, hmm, why am I here? Uh, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to... Okay. Okay, brand new one. Let's do this. Hey, Lamel, what's up? Mod here. And today I decided to do something original for once, at the very least something new to me. Now, I've never seen anyone do this before, any of you have, I'm sorry, but do you mind if I do it anyways? Because it seems super fucking fun to me. Anyways, I had the bright idea of redoing some of my old, cringy, pre-2016 art, and uh, <laughs> here's what that looks like. <laughs> and uh, you know, just recording the process. Well. I mean, some of my 2016 art is pretty spicy in of itself, but <laughs> that's not on Deviant Art, if you know what I mean, wink wink. <laughs> now, you might be asking yourself, why well, gee golly mode, that doesn't sound very original at all. And to that I have to say, shut the fuck up and let me just finish. <laughs> so the twist of this whole thing is that I'll be using a website I found called Wheel Decide. Let me just type that in real quick. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's it's this. It has this little wheel spinner thingy that lands on a specific thing and helps you decide what to do. Maybe you could put in what food you want to eat and spin it, and it'll choose for you. But no. Today we're putting titles of cringy pre-2016 art in it, and I'm letting it decide my fate. <laughs> so uh, let me put in the titles, and I'll get back to y'all. <laughs> oh fuck my life. Um, okay, I'm not lying when I say that literally took me about 30 minutes to do, just to put in all the art titles in this one roulette thing. Like, like, here, just, 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 just look at that, just, 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 mm. it's gonna be spicy up in this house. <laughs> Alright, let me just, let me, let me, let me do a little click. Oh, what's my fate gonna be? <gasps> oh, okay, that's actually easy. Let me just go over to my second tab and bring that one up. All right, I'm gonna choose the inked and shaded version as I put it here. Yeah, I, I gotta draw this. <laughs> that should be easy. All right, let's uh, let's skip into uh the the speed art, shall we? Alright, I'm sorry for that cringy ass intro. Just wanted to explain what this whole series thing would be all about and how I would randomly decide what gets drawn. Also, excuse the ASMR, I tend to record audio for videos like this at around 2 to 4 a.m. when nobody's awake and can bother my recording. Which, uh, you know, means I'm either usually fucking really goddamn tired or just completely wide awake and don't give a shit about things. <laughs> By the way, if you hear a hum in the background, that's just my desktop tower. It's not very loud, but the microphone picks it up. Sadly, there's not much I can do about that, that I know of anyways. <laughs> All right, on to the content of this video. Uh, this piece took me about two to three hours to complete from start to finish. Yeah, this entire sped up footage was about three hours long. You're welcome for editing that out. <laughs> So you may not know this about me, but I used to be a fucking rabbit ass brony. If you don't know what that is, Google it at your own discretion. Anyways. Little 12 to 16 year old me used to fucking worship My Little Pony. It was kind of cringy how much I liked the show, unironically. Honestly, just pop into my old art gallery on DeviantArt. You'll see. <laughs> Despite that though, I've regained interest in the series and currently consider myself a closet brony. I just don't like how toxic the fandom has gotten over the years. It hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> Look at me, a fucking 20 year old complaining about fandom. GG, fucking 
but get, I gotta get mature one of these days, right? Just because it's relevant, I guess I could talk about who my favorite character from the show is. Uh, honestly, I'll keep it simple. It's Princess Luna. Queen Chrysalis is a close second, followed by Fluttershy. <sighs> What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Not really much reason why I like them. I just do. Luna's character design is reminiscent of space and the moon, and I don't know, I guess I just love space. Boy, don't even get me started on space. I can fucking go on hour-long tangents about space. If you ever want to talk to somebody about space, contact me, your guy, your buddy. I, I will fucking talk to you about space until your ear fucking bleeds. Chrysalis is different. I find her interesting. She's a fucking bug horse with holes missing in her goddamn limbs. One would think that's not very structurally sound. How does she walk on those things? They look like fucking chunks of goddamn Swiss cheese painted black. And I'm just like, bruh, that is both very fucking delicious sounding and gross at the very same time. Because you're like fucking walking on those things the entire day. They're bound to be dirty. And Fluttershy, yeah, she's just fucking adorable. Don't even get me started on Fluttershy. Holy fuck. It's, it's, it's she, she, she's just, a, she is just the most adorable character of the cast, in my honest opinion. And if you don't like that opinion, you can fuck off. Don't, don't seriously fuck off. That was sarcasm. I'll shut up now. I haven't watched the show since I believe season 5. I stopped watching it midway when a hiatus happened, or something. I forget. I think I just dropped it because the fandom became really toxic and I developed an affinity for anthropomorphism instead. For those who don't know, that's basically what people call furry, but less furry and more like houses and inanimate objects turned into creatures. Don't get me wrong, I'm basically a fully fledged furry now, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so, update. I decided to watch the series whilst producing this. I kind of forgot why I like the show so much. Eh, it's kind of entertaining and it shows good morals or whatnot. The new episodes are entertaining and gets you to think if you don't watch it with the whole I'm watching a kids show mentality. Which reminds me, why the fuck is that a thing? You know what, I'll stop myself there before I get into an incohesive rant. All that aside, I don't consider myself a part of the main fandom. As I've said before, I consider myself a closet brony. I don't want to associate with such a toxic fandom. <laughs> but you're a furry! Eh, good point. Well, I don't know what else to put in this post-commentary recording, so I guess I'll just roll the blooper reel uh i guess ha have fun y yeah <laughs> no honestly <laughs> what <laughs> uh damn straight i am houses and inanimate objects turn into creatures don't get me wrong, I'm basically a fully fledged furry now, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to record. <laughs> dog, do dog, what are you, d dog, what are you doing? Come here, dummy. Stop licking my door. <laughs> Stop. What, what do you want? Come here. Come here. Why are you throwing a hissy fit? Stop throwing a hissy fit. Boy. Are you throwing a hissy fit? Stop it. I'm trying to record. <laughs> Uh. And now that I've effectively And now that I've My brain thinks way too fast. 